Hey guys, I'm Big Mike, and like always, I'd like to thank you for being here today. Today we have Matt Zimberg from Optimus Trading Group here to talk about the products and services offered by Optimus Futures. And those include things like platforms, data feeds, exchanges, commissions, margins, account opening procedures, etc., etc. Uh, Matt will be starting us off today, and then John will take over uh, once Matt is done, and he'll show us some of the platforms. Uh, Matt has asked that as you guys have questions, just uh, hang on to them until the presentation is over, and then we'll open it up for Q&A at the end and get everybody's questions answered at the end of the webinar. The webinar is being recorded like always. I'll post the recording on BMT and, our, and on our YouTube channel sometime tomorrow. If you're watching the recording at a later date and you like it, please do us a favor and give it a thumbs up. All right, with that, I'm now turning things over to Matt. And okay, Matt, you should now, Hi, hey, you should have the option to share your screen now. Yeah, I'm going to click on that. Um, okay. okay. And we're seeing a PowerPoint. Fantastic. Mike, thank you very much again. Um, I've been on the forum now, I think, a year after it's been established. So Mike has always been a great force, um, nice success here. And uh, it's really a privilege to be a member for such a long time on your site. Really appreciate the objective approach you have. And above all, how practical you are with people. I see you every day really telling people how trading is really is, not trying to hype it or anything of that sort. And it's refreshing to see it in this industry. Thanks, um, man. It really is. Um, Thank you. I so appreciate that. I, uh, well deserved. Um, so today I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about Optimus. Last time, you know, I showed you all the websites we have and everything else. Um, today I'm just going to narrow down to a few specific things that we're doing at Optimus, give you a little bit more about our philosophy and not to sound like every other broker that we are the best of the, in the world. We're definitely not a match for everybody, but we're trying to um, really understand uh, what people, as a philosophy of Optimus, we really truly understand that our livelihood, which is commission, is done from other people risking their capital. And we have a lot of respect for that. So. Having said that, this is the presentation, Optimus Futures. It's a platform technology and uh, other services Medzi's company offers. And I appreciate your time today. I know this, there were a lot of uh, webinars and, recently. And so, yeah, Matt, go can, ahead. You, can yes. you go full screen before we get started? Oh, make it a little not bit easier. Full screen? No. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Um, I should show my screen. Just one second. Is no, it with now them. better? No, no. I mean, I mean, within PowerPoint, if you tell it to uh, to do the presentation instead of the individual slides. Oh, oh, oh. Do you do you know how to do that? Um, uh, I, <laughs> I think it's under view. My, I'm using a different version than you are. I can't remember the old one. And then from beginning. This is better. On the left side, click from beginning. Okay, I Two. just did it. I think you should see it. There it goes. Yep. All right. Thanks, Matt. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay. So, um, before we start, a disclaimer. And I know that everybody shows you disclaimers and tells you futures trading is risky and so forth. But let me just tell you this. Futures trading, it's very hard. It's a leveraged product. It requires a different psychology. You only put in your risk capital. Regardless of what you've been taught, regardless of how confident you are, you only use your risk capital. Any loss of funds cannot affect your lifestyle, devastate you, or anything of that sort. So please use your capital in a wise way, okay? The second thing that you have to understand, and this is the second point, is that technologies are never perfect. Technologies, you cannot leave your monitors alone. You cannot say, oh, because it does this function, I can go away. When you trade, you're beside the screen. Internet can fall, servers can fall, even the exchange at times malfunctions. So you have to be very, very vigilant and be there beside your screen all the time and understand also that, that us brokers, we do not control the connectivity of, uh, of many of the providers that we have. All right. Second thing, 
Okay, so sorry. This is the next slide. What is the goal of Optimus Trading Group uh, brokerage? Our aim towards customers is not to be in the Me Too game. What does it mean? <clears throat> it means when you serve the net and everybody says we have this platform or that platform or anything of that sort, everybody is just kind of in the Me Too game. What we're really trying to do is really understand every single platform, its features. We actually, I admit, we have customers who know their platforms better than we do. But we really try our best in order to support customers and not to send them to the FCM desk or tell them, you know, email this guy or email that guy. We're really trying to bring those platforms that we support, understand, and we can actually launch them and implement them. And we also understand all the features that they have in terms of how they work with the different data providers. We always seek new technologies. Uh, we're always talking to our providers to improve things. We're also trying to find um, new platforms all the time. And the idea, again, is not to have a supermarket of platforms, but there are platforms that we find that they have a different model they work in in terms of pricing. For example, right now we're talking to a platform there out of Europe where they have a pricing model where basically everything is free, but support costs a little bit. So they provide it for free, but if you want an ongoing support monthly, they charge for it. So everybody has their own way of doing things, and this specific platform that I'm talking about is very good for algorithmic trading. But again, we're learning it, and we're, when we're ready, we'll launch it. Uh, we're also trying to provide practical advice to customers, meaning that sometimes customers come to us with ideas that are simply you cannot implement in the marketplace. Sometimes it's limitations of speed, sometimes it's limitations of capital, or some things that are very good in theory, but in real life they do not work. I think Mike addresses a lot of that on the site. Um, I see a lot of very practical advice coming from Mike from people say, I, can, I will do this and I will do that. And Mike actually says, well, you can't really do that. And I think Mike is a very technical guy, so he really understands and a lot of customers who are new to the market, they're being taught certain things and they want to implement it. So what we're trying to do is really to be honest with people and not say, yes, yes, just do it, here's the platform, but say, okay, we don't think you should do that or here's another way to do it. We're also trying to add functionalities to existing platforms. So sometimes there is a user base out there to an existing platform. And what we try and do is basically go to this platform and say, okay, here are some, some of the things that um, you should add, and here are the things that will help our customers and so forth. So we find that if you have a good relationship with the platform providers, they will do a lot for you. So they also understand that we're not there to fill any sales quotas for them. We're under no pressure towards one company or another, and we will never fall into that category of, um, or those conditions of, um, you have to sell for us and then we'll talk to you. Not at all. Our approach is, look, this is what I think our customers need. This is, this is their demands, and as a result of that, you know, we would like to have that. Um, somebody on the site today, um, asked me about the server-side OCOs, and one thing I wanted to mention, that OCO orders are non-recognized exchanged orders. So what does it mean? It means that orders that, that there's a, a degree of safety and security, but nothing is 100% safe and secure, meaning that if the exchange does not recognize the order, Every server that it sits on can malfunction. That's why you always have to be by your screen. Having said that, our Trader Pro provides server-side OCOs, so those orders are sitting on their servers. Sierra Charts, as you know, we implemented something called the Optimus screen, which provides um, a navigation bar at the top that we redesigned for Sierra. and. Uh, they uh, provide um, um, OCO orders. Now, the one thing that I wanted to actually mention, and it's a little bit misleading what I wrote here, trailing stops are, I should actually, sorry, um, how do I go back? Um, sorry, I have to go back to this, okay, and then I'll do... Mm -hmm. 
Okay, from current slide, okay. Okay. Um, okay, so going back to this, <clears throat> I want to talk about trailing stops right over here. Sierra Charts does not provide OCO trailing stops. Um, <clears throat> I spoke to Anthony, he said there's a lot of issues with that and I totally trust him because he's a really, really good programmer. So I wrote here um, that it's plus trailing stops, but what I w really wanted to write is that, that I wanted to discuss that on that slide. So Sierra Charts does not have trailing OC orders, but it, uh, but it does have regular OC orders with a limit and a stop. Okay, for my discussions from CQG, they have server-side OCOs. They do say that they have trailing stops that are working. I mean, I haven't tested it, so I think best is also to ask them. And CQG server-side, it works with us on multi-charts and the CQG platform network, which is CQG Direct, QTrader, and so forth. Um, another platform out there that uh, also makes server-side OCOs are uh, CTS. So that's basically um, it as far as the OCOs and addressing the customer that asked me today about it. Okay, going to the next. Um, this is a, something a little bit off, but I really wanted to share this with you. Okay, so a lot of people want to be successful in trading. And one thing that stuck in my head that I've read 15 years ago from Jack Schwager, and I don't remember if it was Market Wizards 1 or Market Wizards 2, but he said that people who were successful in trading, a lot of those people were successful at something else, meaning that they didn't just walk into trading and all of a sudden became successful at that. Maybe some pit traders, but many were successful in other ventures and avenues and so forth. So they had some sort of a discipline um, instilled in them to do something like trading in the marketplace, which is very difficult. And today it's even more difficult than it was in the past because of all the algorithmic trading and so forth. So a lot of randomness and noise that has been added to the market. And so I always study what do successful people have. And what they have is a very strong uh, value system. So I'm not here to preach to you what is good and what is bad and what values you should have in life. But successful people have a value system that they believe in. And why is it important? It's important because there is something that actually guides them all the time in terms of some sort of a, a compass, how to behave, what to do, and they pretty much stick to it. Now, again, it's not a thing of right or wrong or one values is better than somebody else's values, but it's something that really helps them. And why, how, I should say, well, how does it relate to trading? In trading, you have to be disciplined. I've seen over the years many disciplined traders that because of one week or sometimes even one trade destroy their account. It happened before, I've seen it, the euphoria, you know, it goes to their head um, or sometimes, you know, it's lack of success, you know, and they say I want to make it all back. So having some sort of guidance and rules not to make certain mistakes is very, very important. And when you have a value system, you create the rules, you develop resilience. And let me tell you this, a lot of people, and especially, um, again, you know, I don't want to come across as somebody who preaches at people. I mean, my intentions are good. I really want to help people. But trading is not some sort of a motivational course. It's not the type of thing where you say, I really, really want it, and it's going to happen. You have to develop very strong resilience, and that helps you through very, very difficult periods in trading because it's so difficult. If you look at commodity trading advisors with track records of 15 years, 20 years, and you go through their monthly performance, you will see that there's a lot of drawdowns. There are periods of months upon months that there's lack of performance, lackluster um, ability to create anything um, in terms of return. And they also have to live through that. But in the long run, some of them are doing really well. So this is also something to keep in mind. This is not a three-month or a six-month venture. It's something that could take you a very long time. And the last thing is, you know, uh, block overflow of information and advice. So when you have a value system and rules, so let's talk about rules in trading. I think, um, you know, Mike has been a very big advocate of people writing their um, ideas in the forum. 
And I think it's a wonderful idea. I mean, when you have a conviction and you believe in something, in terms of your methodology, you'll be immune to all the noise that comes after. And if somebody makes you doubt it and he has something valid, but you nevertheless still believe in something very strongly, it gives you the idea maybe I have to be more flexible. Some people will give you unpractical advice, some people will give you practical advice, but if you have your rules, um, you will be able to block the information that is not necessary and take advice that is necessary. So I think that is very, very important. You know, write down 10 things you really believe in and that guide you in life and translate after that to trading. Develop discipline, not only in trading, uh, but also outside in your personal life. I believe that both of them are very connected. Okay, so um, just to give you a little bit of an idea, just uh, um, being a little bit more specific, Sierra, we have an Optimus screen, we have server-side OCO, it includes historical bid and ask, the package 5 is 90, sorry, is 27 and a half dollars instead of 40. Okay, so those people who are interested in that will be more than happy to accommodate them. Okay, multi-charts. We've reached an agreement with multi-charts where Optimus will help a little bit towards those who like the multi-charts platform. Um, I find just in general that you really, um, when I talk about platforms, you really have to explore what's good for you out there. I know that some of you have been using the same platform for a very long time. If you love it, it's fantastic and great, and if it works for you, I don't want to change your mind and go towards something else. But I've seen people who are stuck with the same thing and they say, well, I paid for it, or, you know, it's sometimes unstable, but I'm used to it. I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> A lot of those companies out there that I'm talking to right now are not marketing companies. They really have good programmers who really put a lot of time and effort into features that traders need. And real, I mean, that real traders need. They come to them and say, look, I need this, I need that. And I find that Sierra charts and multi charts have been very, very responsive, you know, to traders' needs, including rhythmic in terms of data feed and flexibility as well. Okay, so anyway, it's right in front of you. If you have 5,000, you'll get $50, 10,000, 100. 15,000 will contribute to 100, and 25,000 will provide a $500 coupon towards the lifetime of multi-charts. Okay, <clears throat> just to give you a little bit of a news, um, and added services, so we are going to, we are trying and attempting to become an independent introducing broker. We have to be approved. Uh, we have a team that we work with, and that's what we're trying to do right now. And the reason that we have decided um, in the future to become independent is because we find that different FCMs have different needs for different people um, in terms of features and everything, and also in terms of service. You have FCMs that are better suited to service really big guys, and there are CT and sorry, and there are FCMs that are suited for a smaller guy. So it's only fair that we find the right match for the customer. Again, the use the legal word of is attempting because we were not approved yet. We submitted all the documents. Pretty sure it's gonna go through, but we're not there yet. Um, it's probably gonna happen in the next two months. Okay. Um, two services that we will add. What we're gonna try to do is to find automated solutions for traders where traders can turn on and off systems, automation and so forth. And the other one, the other service that we're trying to expand into is efforts to find CTAs with long-term trading records. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Most discount traders are inactive. Most discount traders do not trade. I mean, nobody talks about it in the industry, so they impose uh, inactivity fees and that fee and that fee, but this is really the truth. And I don't blame anybody. Nobody owes any broker to trade. But a lot of people want to participate in the market, but they don't have the temperament, knowledge, or sometimes I find they don't have the time. So the idea of adding services, we want to, them to participate in the market. We're not going to force anybody into anything. We're going to show everybody the options. But we think sometimes with the help of a professional, it might make it a little bit easier for them. OK, um, a little study that we have made which is really interesting. So, you know, we were looking to see who is the most active among certain platforms. 
meaning that you know if 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 a platform let's say has ten users, okay, who is trading the most on a given platform? So they don't just use it just perpetually, just paper trade it forever. And this is something that we've done a while back. I have to admit, um, it's not something that we've done recently. So numbers could have changed. I'm not a statistical company, so it was done just by a glance and overlook. You know, it was not specifically done. But nevertheless, we found that multi charts was the one platform where people really trade on. And I, again, I, I can provide any explanation, but the only thing I could only assume that it has really good capability of back testing. And a lot of people who have built automation. It really works for them on that. And the second one was Sierra and Trade Navigator. It's kind of odd because Trade Navigator is not really seen a lot out there, but it's a really good platform. Of course, Sierra, everybody knows it on BMT, but Trade Navigator has been around for a very, very long time. I think they're one of the oldest guys out there. And um, basically, we worked with them over the years. And uh, those of you who have not decided yet on the platform can definitely um, explore it okay so uh, okay so today what I wanted to do is also show you a new platform that we are looking to bring into the markets um, it's called Agena and I found this platform actually I didn't find it I should tell you the story behind it so I received an email one day of a customer um, <laughs> telling me that you gotta try this Agena I love it I love it it's fantastic and I never heard of them before. And it's really rare that I don't hear about a platform, right? OK, so uh, especially if it's in retail. So I thought it really came from them. And I ignored it, because I thought this is kind of somebody sends you an email just to promote something. And I don't like that. you know. So uh, I ignored it. But the email just kept on asking me other questions and so forth. So I started corresponding with it, realizing that it's a real guy. And what I understood, and the reason I never heard about Agena is very simple, because it was really famous in, uh, it's a German platform, and it was famous in Austria and Germany. So they've built this entire site, and there's a very big German uh, partner that uses them. And so I have a customer who also has an account with them. And this is the, actually that's the, the guy that introduced me to it, and he said that you know he really likes Agena and it's a really good platform. So I got in touch with Agena. Uh, we started talking. I really like, I really like their interface. So I said, you know what, this will be a great avenue for me to show another platform for those you know who might consider it. It's a C sharp platform. Um, and why? <laughs> I always ask myself, why do traders need another platform out there? But the the truth is, I'm trying to always save money for people. So this platform, what we have done, is really unique. They have a lot of packages. But we took all kinds of packages uh, from them, combined it into one package, priced it at $35. Um, I think their main package was like 50 or 60 euros or something like that. Um, so we took the features from there to build this thing for us. And it's really, um, and I think it's a good platform. It's a lower cost. Um, sometimes you, traders need to improve their existing features. Uh, I put, I, I placed the uh, be unique. Sometimes, you know, as a broker, you want to represent some thing that other people don't have or didn't reach yet, right? So it gives you some sort of a competitive edge. I'm sure after this webinar, everybody will be calling it Gina. Uh, every broker will be calling them. So there goes my edge. But anyway, um, sometimes I'll, I'm a big proponent of visual display. I mean, I really like when companies work on the way things look that make it easy for customers to come in and start playing around. It's very intuitive. I mean, every microwave in every store, you know exactly what to do. A platform should basically work the same way. Um, and sometimes, you know, sometimes you need change. There's some people that are not prone to change. But I'm a big change guy. I change my computers every few every every few years. I change my screens. Just sometimes, sometimes when you change. So um, I wanted to introduce you at this point to John. Um, John started working uh, for Optimus, I think, about a year ago or slightly over a year ago. It's been a breath of fresh air for us. And let me explain. This kid absolutely has the ability to learn every single platform out there. He made the videos for us on YouTube. He's our main technical guy. And you know, 
he really encouraged me as a, as a boss and an owner of a company to realize you know that a brokerage does not need 10 brokers to be successful if we have the right infrastructure um, and it will bring customers you know the right support will bring customers of course I would like to have you know competent brokers and salespeople and so forth but it is really more important for me to um, service existing clientele and maintain them because as they say in marketing it, it takes you you know ten times uh, more capital to bring a new customer than maintain an existing one so this is not a formula that I want to change um, in any case after John presents Agena, both me and John will take uh, questions and uh, go from there. So, uh, Mike, go ahead. You can okay. give the presentation to um, to John. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Matt. Okay, John, I am giving you control. Your audio should be on. Are you there? Sure. Yep, I, I'm here. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, that sounds okay. All right, perfect. Let me go ahead and... All right, and Matt, I'm going to just mute your microphone for now so we don't get any background. Get my... Okay. All right, we've got a... Uh, there we go. We've got the All platform. Right. All right, perfect. Yeah, I have a few screens here, so I'm going to make sure we get the right one there. Um, yeah, as, as Matt said, and uh, thank you for the introduction, Matt, and uh, thank you for handing it over and for having us, uh, Mike, uh, always a pleasure. I've been a, a fan of the forum for a, a long, long time, actually. Um, but uh, on to uh, the uh, presentation here, on to uh, the meat of the uh, uh, Agena here. Uh, what I have in front of us is uh, Agena Traders, so uh, the platform that Matt was mentioning that's uh, a little bit new to us and... Uh, you know, maybe new to you, or you may have seen it before. Um, Agena is is definitely something that uh, I've been playing around with a lot uh, lately. Of course, learning the platform for customers and so forth, but also uh, just to uh, kind of see how it's set up. Um, th there's really a lot you can do with it. So, of course, you know, here we have Agena, just kind of a uh, a regular uh, tab here or a, a chart group, as they would call it. Um, What's interesting about Agena is there's so many different ways that you can configure um, and uh, kind of uh, put together your charts or your different windows such as domes and, and so forth. So right in here uh, in front of us, of course, we just have some ES charts. Uh, these are all uh, uh, just one minute charts here, but of course, you know, they have all the um, you know regular time frame and, and uh, options and so forth. But uh, what I really want to show you is um, how these uh, different chart groups kind of work together. So you can see I have a few tabs here at the top here. So, you know, we have these different chart groups. We also have separate workspaces. So uh, this is just one workspace out of many that you can have, of course. Um, the other thing, too, is, you know, these charts are not confined within a Gina Trader, so you can release these charts and have them separately. Um, so it's it's not uh, required to kind of have these. So if you have multiple monitors, uh, you can see that uh, it, it can definitely be uh, a good way to kind of position those together. So, you know, a lot of uh, platforms where they're kind of all one together, uh, you may not have the option uh, to, you know, really... Uh, show those or, or have those uh, uh, kind of uh, modular, uh, it, modularly, I guess you would say here. So uh, that's one thing about a Gina Trader that I do like is the ability to, you know, not only have a, a good organization within, you know, the platform itself or the instance itself, but also the flexibility to, you know, um, organize your charts or different windows on, on other monitors. I know a lot of uh, uh, traders uh, do, of course, have multiple monitors. Uh, uh, you know, the old uh, joke, you know, you always hear is, oh, the more monitors, uh, uh, you know, the better you'll do. But, of course, uh, we know that it's it's really about the analysis that you do, not necessarily uh, the physical equipment here. But as far as the platform goes, we have that option uh, to really, uh, you know, organize these charts in different ways. So let's take a look at, at kind of just the basic navigation of Agena here. Uh, of course, we have these different chart groups together. So we have this here. Uh, just a set of three charts. Uh, then we have basically a dome interface. Uh, 
And the dome interface here is also going to show your time in sales. So we see our time in sales here on the right. Uh, we can see you know the different contracts that are coming through, the different timestamps. Uh, we can see the uh, prices, of course, as well. We can change symbols and, and so forth here at the top. We see our open, high, low, close, and uh, other values here that are available to us here. Um, the other thing we can do is, is uh, of course, place orders. And uh, the nice thing about uh, Agena here is you're not going to have to kind of scramble for different keyboard combinations or anything like that. You can see that I can place limit orders, uh, stop orders, and I'm using all left mouse clicks. So all of these mouse clicks here are, are left mouse clicks. It knows whether it needs to place a uh, limit order if you're below the market on the buy side or a stop order if you're below the market on the sell side. Uh, that's all ingrained here and uh, uh, it kind of knows for you. Uh, so that kind of just saves some time uh, you know, when you're placing orders on the dome. And of course, we can cancel those orders uh, pretty quickly. We can uh, freeze the uh, uh, dome here for different price points. Uh, so that's all uh, available here. Now the other thing I wanted to show, you know, aside from the dome here, is a, another configuration. So we saw the ES here. We have a, just a few charts open. What you'll notice is we have a nice uh, a toolbar here, and uh, you know, of course, we have different indicators that are available, uh, just as we would on most most platforms here. But what's interesting about this here is. Uh, it is a, a C-sharp based platform. So, you know, if you're into creating your own studies uh, or, or getting into programming that way, um, it actually may be very familiar in the way that these are created. So, uh, this is another kind of development environment for you, uh, not only for analysis and, and trade execution, certainly on Agena, but also uh, to be able to use these different um, uh, studies and so forth. So I just had a, a Bollinger on there. I don't have enough bars for that uh, Bollinger band here currently, but let me go ahead and uh, bring in a, a different indicator. We'll see if this one will work a little bit better. Let me say five bars here. And that will, uh, of course, bring that up for us. Now, um, you know, of course, you can add uh, different indicators and, and so forth. Uh, it's not limited to, you know, just the ADX or, or uh, the uh, Bollinger bands there. There's a lot that are, you know, predefined within here and then are available. So you can see those there's are tons of studies available for you uh, to get started with. You can also create your own, of course, with that uh, C sharp. Uh, you can also create strategies uh, within a genus. So all of that is available. You know, if you want to get away from uh, discretionary trading or you want to diversify into automated trading um, with a genus trader, that's totally possible. Now, something really exciting I want to show you, and uh, this kind of was the biggest thing that surprised me about Agena. And uh, we're just showing some uh, stock symbols kind of as an example here of the functionality. But uh, the efficiency of Agena is actually um, very impressive to me. Uh, what you'll see here is is any of these um, charts here on the left side or these, uh, uh, these uh, symbols listed here uh, within this scanner you can see how quickly these different charts load up. Uh, it's all you know, of course, multi-threaded and uh, really takes advantage of your, your resources here. So to be able to kind of jump between these so quickly, you can see it's, it's almost instantaneous how we get through these. Uh, and even though we're viewing some stock symbols here currently, you know, this is all possible with uh, futures and, and so forth as well. So that's something that really struck me is uh, just the efficiency of, uh, you know, how everything is set up here. Um, you know, not only can we switch between these and kind of see these symbols here all on our, our left-hand side, but we can switch between them pretty quickly. Not have to wait for that data to load up. It's all waiting there and uh, ready for us, certainly. Um, so that's, you know, kind of a, a big uh, advantage here that we can, you know, take a look at on Agena is the way that uh, it kind of switches between these and, and is, is ready, you know, at the drop of a hat here. So if you're looking at multiple instruments, you're looking at different um, uh, you know, setups, uh, you can quickly switch between those, you know, on a, a short-term basis and, and maybe not, uh, uh, you know, be confined to those longer-term setups when you're looking at different instruments uh, just due to the efficiency here. Now, another thing that kind of goes along with this, you know, switching between these and, and seeing these different instruments is also uh, being able to scan uh, different uh, instruments. So this is a, a really cool feature within Agena that um, is really powerful actually. You can see that I'm looking at uh, the end of day screener 
Now one of the uh, things we can do here is basically look at different uh, filters or different criteria, so different, um, uh, let's see here, uh, different parameters basically of how we want to uh, filter out uh, different uh, trade setups. So one thing we could do here, for example, is to take a look at uh, the average true range. Uh, what we could do here is say, okay, if the average true range is above 4.5, uh, we want to know about that. So it'll then sort those all for us. So all of these that we're seeing here currently uh, have the ATR above 4.5. So the ability to uh, you know filter these out really quickly is uh, certainly uh, pretty uh, a pretty cool feature here. And we can combine these so we can look at different uh, patterns. Of course, we may not have that combination. Uh, we can say here you know, over bots, and we even have different levels here that we can choose. So, you know, we're not limited uh, just to, you know, one or two different filters here. We can always combine those and look for specific setups without necessarily having to program anything. Um, you know, programming uh, is certainly available within a GenoTrader. We can script within that C, that C Sharp uh, language. Um, you know, for those of you who are C Sharp developers or may have used C Sharp in other platforms, uh, you can certainly do that, but it's not necessarily required within Agena uh, with all these different filtering options and uh, so forth. So it, it really makes it easy to be able to, um, you know, look at multiple instruments at the same time, uh, you know, if you're focusing on uh, different asset classes or uh, different uh, market sectors, um, you can really kind of split your time a little bit more evenly and uh, you know look at uh, opportunities as they come based on these different filters. Now going back to these um, you know kind of chart groups or uh, chart containers as we would say here, um, you can see that there's different uh, kind of pre-configured ones that are here. So you know if we just want a single chart of course we can open that up. Um, you know we have uh, different options here as far as the type of uh, um, or the period uh, of the uh, charts that we want to view, whether it's range, ticks, minutes, and, and so forth. We also have different price styles. So, you know, of course, whether you want to view, uh, you know, a more exotic uh, bar type such as a Kagi, uh, you know, bar type here, or point and figure, or so forth, or just regular candlesticks, that's all built in here as well. Um, so, just kind of to uh, go through that, uh, uh, that kind of just shows you a little bit about. Um, you know what's included there. The other thing about Agena that I like is, uh, again, just the modular design. Um, you know, things like the toolbars, we can actually uh, really customize these just with a click of a button. I can remove different options here. I can add uh, options that maybe uh, weren't on there previously. Uh, so, you know, you can really set up your trading environment in a way um, that makes sense for you. You know, all these platforms certainly filled with so many different features and uh, great things that we can use. However, it may just not be relevant to us in, in certain setups. So, you know, we can switch between these uh, or toggle these and kind of customize these to the way that we want them. And you can see it will uh, adjust these as we come in. Um, or as we kind of go over the charts, so you know the uh, we know which chart is active at that point, and so you know any of the options here on the toolbar, we can also uh, of course access from the right mouse click menu here, go into the settings, access things like drawing tools, for example. Uh, we can you know uh, draw trend channels and and so forth, uh, and you can see we can even link these charts together so that they. Um, you know, have these different drawings and, and so forth that will kind of carry over. The other thing that uh, makes it pretty quick here is you can see we can, uh, you know, save these images, print those images, export to Excel, all of that uh, right here on our toolbar so pretty quickly. Um, you know, if you want to uh, do some analysis here, maybe print the image or maybe save the image and post it up on Big Mike and, and see what happens, uh, see what other people are thinking, you can absolutely do that pretty quickly here uh, within Agena. The other thing on Agena that we have um, that uh, you know is a very popular feature these days, of course, is trading directly from your chart. Um, not everybody is is a short-term trader; they may not use the dome uh, to enter in orders. You want to trade from the chart? You can absolutely do that on Agena as well. So we have, uh, of course, uh, different options here: just regular uh, stop orders we can place here. Uh, we can place limit orders, market orders, and so forth, and uh, What's interesting here is 
we can actually place these orders, adjust them, things like the quantity, and then accept them. So we can have a, uh, a pretty flexible way of, of entering in these orders. And of course, we can uh, move these orders and, and uh, kind of adjust them as we like to see fit. We can also uh, attach these orders. So for example, maybe I wanted to create an OCO group. Uh, I can do that here right on our chart. Maybe I wanted to uh, kind of bracket the market here. What I could do is, for example, place a buy stop above, place a sell stop here, and then I can link these together. And you can see that that will be an OCO group here. And that's another thing on Agena here that uh, is impressive to me as well is the way that these uh, orders kind of work together. Um, we can see these links. We know that these are linked by OCO um, without having to kind of think about it. You know, if we have a lot of different orders or different tiers of orders, um, we can kind of get confused. Uh, you know, I, I know sometimes, uh, you know, when I'm, I'm placing trades and, and so forth, um, you know, there are orders that uh, I may not remember if I, I uh, tie them together, you know, as far as OCO and, and so forth, if, uh, um, you know, I place them pretty quickly. So uh, it gives us just another visual reminder uh, to be able to kind of see that there. And of course, um, you know, we can uh, tie those together uh, just that way. The other thing we have here that I wanted to show you is uh, uh, that I think is a, a pretty cool uh, option for uh, those of you that are using multiple brokers or, or for example, multiple uh, uh, data feeds. Uh, what's, what's really cool about the uh, Agena here is you can actually, uh, of course, connect to different features. You can see I'm connected to uh, just a, a Yahoo feed here for that stock data, and I'm also on CQG. Now, one thing that's uh, pretty interesting here is we can actually um, adjust which type of uh, asset classes are routed through which feed. So right now I have my futures quotes coming from CQG, but I have uh, you know stock quotes and, and so forth coming through the other feed here. So you know if you have something like IQ feed for example, which has a ton of those different asset classes, but you don't necessarily want say forex uh, through that feed, you could uh, disable forex for IQ feed and uh, you know have that through your uh, uh, other data feed or, or route that through there. So um, not only is there ways to, you know, of course, bring in all that different kinds of data, but also to route that data how you want it to be routed. So, um, you know, route uh, that data through specific channels or, or the channels that you want to get it with. Um, so just uh, another kind of uh, smaller detail um, or attention to detail that I like about Agena here. You also have, uh, you know, pretty quick things here like the futures calendar. You know, a lot of these different uh, uh, futures contracts, it can kind of be a headache to remember exactly when they are rolling over. Uh, that's built in right here, and you can actually have alerts uh, for all of these different rollover symbols. You know, individually, you know, we have the uh, the DAX here. Uh, we have, um, you know, the gold here and, and so forth. So, uh, you know, having that belt built in just saves a little bit of time, you know, going through the CME website, for example, or, or so forth, if you don't happen to remember, you know, these different rollover dates. So, you know, it's little things like that that can really help you and, and just save you time as a trader, you know, as you're getting into it, especially if you're looking at those multiple asset classes and, and trading, you know, more on a portfolio basis than on an individual basis. So um, that's kind of how, uh, again, just the attention to detail that uh, you can take a look at here as far as just aiding you as a trader, you know, those small things that can save a little bit of time. Also for you, uh, for those of you who are, you know, from across the pond here, uh, you know, we're located in uh, the U.S., but uh, Agena also has multiple uh, languages, you know, built in. So we have English that I'm using, of course. Uh, I don't speak uh, German here or Russian, but uh, if you did, or if I did, you had these options to switch quickly. I'm going to stay out of those. I don't want to get lost here uh, if I accidentally switch there, uh, but certainly options, options that are available. Uh, within Agena here. The other thing that we have here, again, is the scripting. So I kind of wanted to show you just a little bit of uh, how the uh, scripting here works in Agena. And um, you can see that it is C-sharp based, so we can create a new indicator. We can even convert uh, you know, indicators from other platforms or uh, 
kind of have them uh, within here. So you can see it looks uh, pretty similar here. If I wanted to just type in big mic indicator, for example, uh, and then we can add these options, you know, calculate on bar close, overlay on price, and so forth. Uh, we'll go next here. We can enter in uh, inputs, uh, you know, for example, um, you know, look back period here, uh, or so forth. I won't spend a whole lot of time here. Uh, we'll go ahead and just click the uh, finish here. But you can see we have a development environment that is uh, built in here. And we can, of course, uh, you know, start coding in uh, those different conditions here. So, um, you know, it may look familiar for those of you who are C Sharp programmers. Um, definitely available here within Agena and uh, is available to, you know, just use and, again, grow as a trader. And that's one thing, um, you know, we stress about these platforms is, uh, um, you know, as a trader, when you begin, you, you may just be looking at, uh, you know, charts and, and studies and so forth. But, you know, as you grow, you may want to get into, uh, you know, scripting your own own uh, studies and, and strategies or looking into automation or, or different uh, asset classes uh, like you see here, you know, or different uh, setups on, you know, multiple instruments and so forth. So the flexibility as far as that goes uh, can really go a, a long way. The last thing I kind of want to show here is just the uh, trading journal. That's a pretty cool feature here to, to uh, take a look at, you know, where you, uh, how your trading's been going within Agena. You know, of course, you can kind of load through these and uh, leave comments and so forth. Um, you can also, you know, take a look at uh, snapshots of these, so uh, screenshots uh, of these different uh, trades here that are available within the trade journal as well. So just another uh, way to kind of keep track of how you've been doing uh, as far as the um, uh, Agena goes here within uh, simulation trading and, and so forth. So um, I don't want to take up too much of your time here. Uh, one last thing I did want to want to show, you know, not related to uh, Agena here, uh, really quick uh, that you know Matt mentioned um, is uh, on that Sierra chart. I just wanted to show off our new uh, toolbar here that we have uh, for our version of Sierra chart here that is included. I can see some new icons. So you know we are looking to. Uh, you know, work a little bit more closely with different platforms uh, like Agena and, and Sierra Chart and, you know, add uh, value where we can and do what we can, you know, maybe small changes and, and so forth, but uh, it'll snowball in the end and uh, hopefully it make a difference uh, for, for our customers and our clients to, to just make it a little bit easier on them or, or more cost effective uh, certainly as well. Uh, is uh, something we're trying to offer as well. So just wanted to show that off in addition to Agena here. I'll go ahead and pass it back off to uh, Mike here and uh, let him uh, take over here at the helm. Okay, thanks, John. So, uh, Matt, I'm going to turn your microphone back on. All right, um, which which you guys want to share the screen? You want to keep it with John? And then let me go ahead and see yeah, if there's any questions. Okay. All right, guys, so if anybody has questions, now is the time to ask. Let's take a look. Art wants to know if you can uh, use that stock scanner and filter by VWAP. I believe that is available here. If we take a look, we have uh, different volume options here. I don't know specifically about VWAP. I'd have to look into that, uh, but I know there are. It might be under the indicators. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look there. Let's see here. Oh, I see. It's uh, just specific ones. Okay. Yeah. It's, there's just a few here. Um, yeah. It may not be on here, uh, or VWAP may not be here uh, specifically. Uh, but that's certainly something I can uh, suggest to uh, um, Agena. And that's the great thing, you know, with working with these different platforms is, you know, we get to know, you know, I, I know uh, Gilbert uh, on a first name basis from Agena and. Uh, you know, if, if we have those uh, suggestions, we'll be happy to do it, and uh, they'll be happy to do it as well. Okay. Um, I, I can't be the only one thinking that uh, it looks very similar to Ninja Trader. So that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, I, I've never heard of this platform before. I don't know how long they have ex existed, but I, they seem to have coded up a, um, a new Ninja Trader. Um, Let's see, TS Trader is saying, is there any uh, market profile, volume profile, or Renko charting? There should be um, 
There are uh, RACO charts included. Um, I don't have a whole lot of uh, uh, data here to work with at this point. Um, as far as volume profile and so forth, uh, I believe that's something that uh, is in the works. I don't know that it's included here uh, by default. Let me take a look. We do have a volume profile, although the data that I have here may not uh, uh, bring that up here. I think uh, I need a little bit more data to go back. Uh, but it looks like there are some volume profile functions. Um, you know, of course, we're still uh, working on uh, certain things here. But uh, uh, yeah, of course, I don't have it here to show. Okay. So let's talk about historical data. Is there not any historical data? There, there is not uh, historical data included uh, at this point. Um, what Matt has done, though, uh, is, I don't know if you mentioned it today, uh, we've actually negotiated with uh, IQ feed for um, a reduced rate for uh, historical data uh, or uh, in IQ feed uh, uh, data. So that's something okay. to look, look into as well, but not, not included uh, by default here within the platform. Okay, but it does support IQ fee. So if you were to have a it subscription, does. okay. Correct, I see. yes. Okay. Um, just in general, I wanted to to ask some high-level questions about platforms. So we know that um, that Optimus offers Sierra Chart and uh, Gina and multi charts. What are the what am I or I think Trade Navigator? What, what am I missing? What are the other ones? Um, we offer <clears throat> CTS. We offer Inside Edge, which is very good for a market profile. Uh, Trade Navigator, our Trader, our Trader Pro, TT in some circumstances for some users. Um, anything that Rhythmic supports, Rhythmic supports uh, Market Delta Trader as well. Right, Market Delta, correct. Okay. Um, um, all the CQG platforms, uh, pretty much almost everything that's available on the retail side, we we have uh, access to. Okay, and let me just ask, if if uh, people already have a uh, license to Ninja Trader, can they bring their license to Optimus? Well, my understanding my understanding is that anybody who we can take anybody who who doesn't have lifetime license, um, only the ones who have acquired the lifetime license before July fifteenth of this year. My understanding is that you can, but again, we don't control the platform. They have become their own broker, so um, they have been flexible in some circumstances. Uh, but again, it's not a platform we're right now uh, promoting because clearly sure. they have become their own thing, right? So yeah, let's talk and about nothing uh, but the best to them, by the way. Let's talk about data feeds. Um, what so okay so you mentioned like CTS so on CTS does that mean that you guys are bringing in uh, T, the CTS T4 uh, feed itself? Um, you no, know, we haven't used it on other platforms. We actually just started bringing there some customers, so we're starting to get to know the team. I think there's a guy by the name of Brian there that we yep. started uh, talking to. Very yep. nice guy, very good fella, and uh, he, I'm sure that with him we can bring it to other uh, platforms. The one thing, it's, it's actually very good that you asked that question, because it brings me to something else. As of March 15th of next year, uh, brokers will be considered professionals. We're pros, and we will be charged certain data feeds according to that. So we really have to be um, controlling our cost. What does it mean? Let's assume that you use two different FCMs, but both of them you're controlling risk through Rhythmic. Nevertheless, on two different FCMs, it's considered two different screens because everybody else provides the data. So what we're really trying to do is really centralize everything. We can't have, of course, we'd love to be a supermarket, but really we have to weigh the cost of supply and demand. Um, for example, if there's a lot of people who want the data, the data feed from CTS, of course, we'll implement it. But then the, the other side is we also need to have risk management. So when people call in, they say, I'm stuck, my platform fell down, and so forth, we really have to have something on our side in order to control it. So what we're trying to do is really see what is the demand, 
and if the demand justified it, we Im justifies it, we implement it again. You know, okay. like I said in the beginning of this presentation, you know, I don't want to be in the game of me too. I have to admit right. that so far, what we have implemented the most is rhythmic, and it worked for us. But we're expanding. Let's talk about exchanges. Who do you have? CME. Right now, <clears throat> we have uh, CME, and we have CBOT, ICE. Um, all the North American ones. We do have Urex. We don't have we don't have uh, Urex through Rhythmic yet, but we have it through CQG. Uh, there's another added uh, company. I think they the, I think Vision goes through um, Jeffries. So through CQG, we can offer other um, avenues. In fact, because Jeffries is so big, we actually found this week. Uh, a customer who wanted to switch from another firm to trade the Australian exchange, we brought him over, and this is something that uh, we were able to facilitate with the help of CQG. And they have a very good team, by the way, as well. Okay. Um, let's talk about account opening procedures, um, minimums, margins, um, how to get the funds in and out, um, customer portal, customer facing portal, that kind of stuff. What can you tell us? Okay, so basically we have everything prepared, templates for every single type of account that people want to open. Uh, after they fill out the application, we check the financial suitability of the customer to trade futures. And according to that, you know, we decide how much, what is the maximum we can invest and so forth. Uh, there are corporate accounts, there are companies' accounts, and everything else. So when people open that, again, we advise them that you know they will be considered pros, you know, in the future. I think under a corporate account. So that will that, that we have to bring to their attention. Um, but pretty much, it's very straightforward as far as account opening. It's very fast. We get all the documentation. If something is missing, you know, we send back all the details that are missing, and we go from there. Every time they want to withdraw money. They basically send us an email, accounts at Optimus Futures, give us the wire instructions, a check, you know, and we release the funds. If they want to wire money in, you know, there's a number of currencies that they can do it in, from Australian dollars, Euros, uh, American dollars. We just give them the wire instructions and they go from there. Okay. Glenn is asking, uh, can someone write a custom indicator in C++ or C Sharp for a Gina? I think it's more suitable for John, um, but I think they can. John? Is John? It, yeah, it would just need to be in uh, in C Sharp, uh, you know, so uh, it's certainly possible for, um, you know, third parties to, you know, create an indicator and, and, and so forth, so uh, definitely uh, an option. Okay. Trader Wolf is asking if you have any platforms that work with the Jigsaw Dome. So I, th I oh, think that that's uh, yeah. I mean, I think it's a. It, it's, I think it's only for Ninja Trader, but I think I read maybe he's doing a Sierra version. I don't know if that means it's like a standalone Windows app. Or I'm not sure. We have some customers who use it. I didn't have much interaction with them about with that, but again, I think it does work mostly with Ninja. Okay. Uh, for now, I think I think he developed it also for OpenEcry. Yeah, I was gonna say OpenEcry. Okay, got it. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, so TS Trader is asking again. I think we already covered this. Is uh, our market profile charts? Or he's saying market delta charts, but I, I think he either means market profile or maybe he means footprint or volume ladder. I'm not sure exactly what he means, but we already showed the list of indicators. It looks like I think they're just really basic versions out of the box. You know, very similar to what. Ninja has, for example, which is out of the box, not not something that you would really use if you're a serious profile trader. But you you said that you support the actual platform Market Delta, right? We support Market Delta, and we support. Uh, actually, we know Trevor really well. He's a really good guy. Mm -hmm. We work with him quite closely. Uh, sometimes we even do presentations for them where they show the yeah. functionalities of the platform. So if you're if you're a serious profile trader or footprint trader, then that's that's what you want. Right. 
or CR, CR chart. Too, I think yeah. right market profile. I think you know they have two different costs. I think what's unique from my understanding to market delta is they register the trademark on footprints that they teach all the time. And I think that's what's unique about the charts. If somebody is looking for a different, just general market profile solution, I think you can be the price of Sierra chart on that. Right. Yeah, they've got basically a generic, you know, their own interpretation type of thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. If anybody else has questions, now is the time to ask. So, Matt or John, anything else that you want to show or talk about today? No, um, just wanted to really thank you for your time and uh, thanks for everybody for showing up. Um, I want to encourage you, you know, because I always feel that a relationship, you know, between Mike, I always, you know, I'm built on reciprocity. I really want to encourage everybody to really participate in the forum because this is how you grow as a trader. You ask questions. The life of every forum depends on very good content coming in. And if you have good content and you share it, you share it with a lot of people that will read it and you will save them a lot of headaches. So you're actually doing a very good thing. Sometimes it's just good to give. You know, so I see some people, um, I have to, you know, sometimes some things, you know, names that are stuck in my name, in my head, like uh, Tiger Trader, you know, he's just analysis, is fantastic. <laughs> yep. It's really good, right? I mean, so I, I really encourage people, you know, to write and participate and ask questions. It gives me also a chance, I'm not always on the forum, but it gives me a chance. I don't think, when I got into the discount game, and I'll be very honest, I, I got into it about four or five years ago. Actually, Mike is giving me really practical advice. <laughs> I remember back in the, in the day, I remember I said, no, Mike, you don't get it. But no, he got it. I, I was the one who didn't get it. He told me a lot of practical advice. And so I really like the interaction that occurs all the time. And it gives me the interaction of people right on the site and they write the journals and what they're looking at and everything else. It also gives me a chance as an owner to see what are people's concerns, what they want and their needs. The idea, for example, to work with Sierra and and uh, do the service side OCO for Rhythmic was really because of the forum. It was really because I saw people seeing it as a really big thing. And Anthony is just one of those guys that I really like because he he's just easy to work with. Like, you know, they they have a small development team, but everybody complains about their customer service, you know, but <laughs> the reality is is that developers, you know, brokers should support the platform as well. Again, not to be in the game of me too, me too. Uh, I have it, but really understand and support it. So they've done it for us, you know, really fast. They implemented the navigation. That some of our customers said, "Hey, we want new navigation," so we did that. Uh, from BMT, I've learned that OCO service side are really important uh, for some traders because the truth is, I'm a well-traveled guy, and it's absolutely true. The infrastructure in the United States is so good. And the rest of the world, you know, you really have to pay a lot of extra or it drops all the time. And I've been to Europe, I've been to the Middle East, I've been to, you know, the islands. And you just sometimes you never know. You just don't know where the infrastructure is good. I was, you know, you in Europe tell in some cities. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it's amazing. I was in some cities in Europe. I'm not going to mention which ones, but, you know, some of the bigger cities, the internet dropped all the time. And at the same time, I was in the jungle in Costa Rica, three hours away, it was just unbelievably fast. So you just like, <laughs> you never know. So anyway, the whole idea of, of participation in the forum, people interacting, talking to one another, gives us an idea of what traders uh, want and need. So continue doing that. I think it grew to what it, what it is today because of people's willingness to share with others, which is a fantastic thing. Sure. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, do you have a um, a slide, or do you want to throw up your website that has like an email address or some sort of contact information? So if people have questions, that's the way to get in touch uh, with you. John, maybe you want to give them our our main site and also the Agena link, just in case if they want to demo. Okay. So this is our main site, and you can go to contact us. And we try to be very responsive. And you want to maybe give them the Agena link so they can try the demo. All right, so I you can try out. Sorry, I, I see a, I see an email there, general at optimusfeatures.com. Is that the best right. one? Okay. That's or they can I mean if you guys want to talk to me directly, Matt at optimusfeatures.com. 
you know it's been okay. it's, uh, and uh, and John maybe you want to show them the Agena one as well um, so they can maybe ask for a demo where you can use yeah this tab as well so Optimus Futures for slash Agena Trader dot HTML try it out you know see how it goes uh, might be something that you like and um, that's basically it again they have a really from what I'm understanding is they have a really big user base in Germany and in Austria and the site is in German but at the bottom there's a tab you can actually switch it to English so uh, they've been very good to us you know we'll see but again you know choose any platform you want we're not pushing one and just, right and just to clarify um, if somebody wants to try it they can get a trial by going to this page right here there's a correct on the right, right. side the, okay correct they just try that and uh, uh, we hooked it up this platform at the moment is uh, going through CQG we hooked it up with the CQG API okay all right, guys. Well, thank you, John. Thank you, Matt. I'll uh, post the recording of this sometime on BMT a little bit later today or tomorrow. And I'll see you guys back on the forum soon. Mike, thank you for your time. Much appreciated. Thank you, guys. Thank you for attending it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Okay.